Elagod. I saw a story about churches being set up, uh, set on fire in British Columbia. Possibly. Um, they've been hiding uh, the genocide. They're not even hiding it. They've just been denying it. Because everyone knows that the church and the state in collaboration together with the oligarchs uh, we're committing genocide in the indigenous population. One of the means of committing genocide was taking their children away, right? Taking their children away and forcing them to speak English, preventing them from speaking their own language. That's ethnic cleansing. Not only that, they were abusing children physically, mentally, sexually, emotionally, and some of them they were just straight out killing and burying them in mass graves, right? One was found a few years ago, right? And they said, oh, this is uh, an anomaly. It doesn't. But now they're finding mass graves. I'm not talking one or two or 12. We're talking hundreds of children buried in, on church property because the churches here were physically, mentally, emotionally, sexually abusing children. And some of them they were executing or they were dying under torture or sexual abuse or whatever it was going on. Depression, whatever it was going on. It's trying to escape. And they, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Right. By the way, uh, everything I say, take with a grain of salt, read up on it, do whatever you want. Some of the best places you can get some information is pulp fiction, right? But not pulp fiction, pulp magazines, right? Human artifacts that have documented what's going on through the arts, right? This is one of them that we read yesterday in a live stream, which is the drug war trading cards, the straight dope on America's dirtiest deals, right? This is a 36 card deck that came out in 1991. There's more truth in this. Okay, because we read half with half of this yesterday and blew us away, right? There's more truth in this card set that came out in 1991 than every single history course combined that you will ever take in a centralized education system you will be better educated better informed about what's going on in our world and the history behind it by reading trading cards put out by an independent comic book publishing company then you will taking years of history class in a centralized indoctrination center just letting you guys know that okay that video will be up it's crazy and that's just about the drug war there are others King Canada live yes there's a really big story developing here about the church's role in uh, our shameful residential school system disgusting and really sad yeah over 700 on one side over 700 children 700 ch wrap your F and head around that now just know where i'm coming from i did a lot of environmental work, geophysics works work in the 1990s and i did a lot of work for different tribes different nations within canada we would for environmental assessment when the state the the government or the military was handing land over to the indigenous population because they under the treaties they after 100 years or 200 years or whatever it was they were gonna handle the land back over to the owners of the land right the nation whichever nation it was we did environmental work and you know? i did environmental work so i know a little bit about that history and the connections and stuff like this man once you dig down to that you be woke so hard that your head will spin, right? Lark bark. War criminals deserve to be in prison for their evils. Indeed. Elder God. Oh my God. I really hate uh, religion. So many people have died due to, the, due to faith. See, here's the kicker. It's, they didn't die due to faith. They died because they allowed their faith to be centralized. They allowed, okay, their faith to be hijacked, monopolized, centralized, abused by psychopaths, by psychopaths, right? We read one of those bits of information, the Vatican's churches, the Pope's church, 
right? What they did in regards to drug smuggling and how they laundered the money and all that jazz, right? Not only religion, I agree with Starsky, it's not only religion. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Censor 2 for as long as it will remain up there. Elder God, I did some research on the Luckerbee flight and uh people on board uh very interesting very interesting for what we found out yesterday wow 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 not that it makes it uh, better but the site with 700 plus unmarked graves it was over the course of almost 100 years by now yeah yeah just generations of indigenous peoples that they try to wipe off the face of the earth because they intervened in the transferring of information language culture to children to the next generation right so they basically acted like all centralized power does right maybe wall street governments education centers health associate whatever you want to think about it they intervene between family right crazy